Assalamualaikum, my name is Merza and today I will be explaining about chapter 7 from 5 biology which is adaptation of plant to different habitats. Adaptation of plant. Adaptation is the adjustment of an organism to the environment or organism adapt. Animal and plant have unique structure and shape to adapt to the environment to ensure the survival of the species. For plant, this adaptation can be observed in the shape of its leaf, roots and stem to adapt itself to live in its habitat. Classification of plant based on habitats have four types which is halophytes, hydrophytes, mesophytes and xerophytes. Halophytes, plants that are live in swampy habitats at the river mouth, the meeting point of freshwater and seawater. This swampy area is rich in salt content, for example, mangrove tree. Hydrophytes, plants that live in aquatic habitats either on the water surface or submerged in the water, for example, waters and Elodia sp. Mesophytes are plants that live in a habitat that is not too dry nor too wet, which indicates supply of water. Most plants are mesophytes, for example, mango tree, hibiscus plant, and rubber tree. Xerophytes, plants that are live in a habitat that is hot and dry, with a minimum presence of water, that is a place with a very high temperature, such as at the desert, for example, cactus and deep palm. Adaptive features of halophytes. Halophytes are plants that can live in a habitat with high concentration of salt and low oxygen content. Mangrove tree are an example of halophytes. Mangrove, uh, mangrove tree that live here have specific adaptive features that adapt to environmental condition. This area is also exposed to high intensity of light. Adaptive uh, features of halophytes live with thick cuticle and sunken stomata can reduce the rate of transpiration. Circulant leaf can store water. Leaf with a special structure known as hydrotipped eliminate excess salt. A leaf can store salt and fall off when concentration of salt store is too high. Adaptive uh, features of halophytes. The root system that branches widely and exists in various shapes and sizes uh, provide support for the plants to continue living in the soft and muddy so uh, soil or prevent plant from being uprooted due to strong wind. The root system of mangrove tree also produces hundreds of breathing roots that grow vertically upward above the surface of the soil, called phenometer pores. There are many pores on this root which are called lattices to enable the exchange of gases with the atmosphere. With the, atmosphere. the cell sap of mangrove roots have higher salt content than seawater. Hence, the cell sap of the root does not lose water by osmosis. Instead, the mangrove tree receives water and mineral salt from the seawater entering their roots. Adaptive features of hydrophytes. Hydrophytes refer to plants that can adapt to their wet habitat, whether by floating on the water surface or sinking in the water. Therefore, hydrophytes have fibrous roots that provide a large, uh, a large surface area and trap air bubbles to enable the hydrophytes to be more stable and lighter. The adaptation of the root enables them to float or stay upright in the water, as well as the buoyant force excited by the surrounding water. Adaptive feature of hydrophytes, floating plant. Floating plants such as floaters uh, are plants that grow by floating on the water surface with the roots not accord to the bottom of the leaf. The leaf, which are broad, thin and flat, help this plant absorb maximum sunlight for photosynthesis. Most of the stomata are distributed on the upper epidermis of the leaf. The upper epidermis uh, of the leaf is also covered by a waxy waterproof cuticle to ensure the stomata are always open. The stem of this plant consists of light tissue with plenty of air spaces between the cell. These tissue are known as enzyme tissue. Adaptive future of hydrophytes, submerged plant. Submerged plant are uh, such as Elodia sp are plants that grow completely inside the water. These plants have leaves that are thin and small to increase the total surface area per volume and to increase the diffusion rate of water, mineral salt and dissolved gases directly into the plant through the epidermis. The submerged plants do not have stomata and wet cuticle on the leaf.
Their stem, which are small and hollow, help this plant float upright in the water and help to reduce water flow resistance. Adaptive feature, features of xerophytes. The xerophyte live in the desert and area that receive very little rainfall. However, xerophyte can overcome this problem by extreme dryness. dryness. This adaptive ability is what will determine the survival of the xerophyte. The root of xerophytes grow widely, can penetrate deep into the soil to absorb water and mineral salt. The absorbed water is stored in the roots, stem and leaf. Besides, the stem of the cactus carry out photosynthesis. The cactus has small leaf and thick waxy cuticles on its stem and leaf. These are also leaf modified into thorns. This feature reduces the total surface area exposed to the sun, thus reducing the water loss. The presence of thorn can, uh, can also help the cactus to get water supply by collecting dew. The dew will drop on the ground and absorb by the roots. Besides, the thorn can also prevent the uh, plant from being eaten by animals. The stomata in cactus are embedded to reduce water evaporation from the leaf. That's all from me. Thank you.